So, uh, chances for that hole to go either way, but in the end, nothing gained. Yeah, we all can. Uh, we all made a few mistakes on that hole, to be fair. Which you know, par fives that gives you the opportunity of a, of a birdie, but also you still got to get the ball in the hole. So we all we all made poor fives, I would say, on that hole. Okay, so now we've just uh, moved across to the 12th here, which is another, um, probably one of the best risk reward holes here at Archerfield, especially if they move the tee forward as, as we're going to do now. Yeah, we're standing on the yellow box here at 12, and uh, I think there's another hole where there's an opportunity for the tournament director, Mike Stewart, to, to move it 75, 80 yards forward uh, to make it reachable, but there's a lot of trouble running about the green here. There's waste bunkers left and right, and it kind of eats in the front of the green. So if it's downwind, you can get there, but it's not a guaranteed free. So uh, in terms of your strategy for this hole, might that depend how the match is going at this stage? Yeah, again, you're now into the back nine, so if you're if you're well ahead, you probably just chip an iron down there and, and try and make a three from the fairway. And if you're all square or behind, then you might play a little bit more aggressive and uh, take it on, trying to make a birdie that way. Right, so the Laurie Juniors are behind, so I expect to see some aggressive play here. Yeah, definitely, we'll be going for it. And yourself? I'll be going for it. So what's happened here, Paul? I've, uh, I've hit it into one of the waste areas and uh, I've just got a little bit of a footprint that I'm in, which is obviously going to happen when it's not a raked, prepared surface. So it's going to come out with a little bit more top spin on it, which actually helps me because I'm trying to not spin the shot and roll it more. So hopefully it should be fine. Okay, and with um, young Craig nicely on the green, yeah, young Craig's driven the green. He's hit it sort of 35, 40 feet past the pin. So he's got an, an ideal chance for birdie. Michael's just right of me in the same bunker. You're still behind the eight ball a little bit, but you're back in the hole. Yeah, well obviously the, the pin's in a very, very tough spot there, kind of on the side of a hill. And with the wind being left to right, Craig's only misread that by a little bit and the wind's caught it and it's gone a little bit down the hill. So now if I can somehow knock this in, I think I'm in the driving seat. which is really not very good, but the pin was in a kind of very tough position, so sometimes far's the best you can do. So, um, again, nothing uh, happened really on the last time. No, no birdies there. Craig was obviously in a, in a perfect position off the tee, but the pin was, let's say, in a, in a, in a difficult position uh, on the side of a slope. So uh, misjudged his first one and then didn't hold the birdie putt. So we've now switched across to the 18th, which is obviously going to be the, the final hole the matches in the pool or match play, uh, for some matches anyway. Yeah. Um, uh, and this is an interesting hole, isn't it? Because this is one of those holes that has two options off the tee. Yeah, it's a little bit of a, of a split fairway. You can go down kind of both sides, obviously a little bit of trouble uh, in the middle. Uh, so, interesting to see how guys play. So obviously at 563, it needs to be downwind or no wind to, to reach. Today, straight into the wind, so we'll not be, we'll not be getting near it in two. So you, you're one up, I am. one to play. Um, if you were coming to this, this hole in a match in your tournament, one up, one to play, what would your strategy be? Well, I think you'd still be hitting driver off the tee. Uh, I think at 563, straight into the wind, if you mess about too much with your tee shot and then don't hit a good tee shot, then you're kind of hitting a long shot for your third. So I feel you think you've got to be aggressive and stand up and, and, and hit driver down there. Time to go right, nearly ended up left, and I'm in the middle, in the bunker. I'm now going to have to just chip it sideways and try and probably up and down it for a five and hope that it's enough to hold on. And how are the opposition looking? Michael's just short of me in, in the bunker uh, here, so he's here be able to knock it up no problem. Craig's just sort of same length, maybe a little past me on the left hand side. He can knock it up there with a three wood and probably have a short third shot. So under pressure again? Under pressure again. I've still got 262 yards to the pin. Uh, all I could do from that bunker was just uh, chip it sideways. 
as I said before, I was in the only place that I probably couldn't reach the green in three. But uh, sometimes when you make a par off of something like that, it's very, very enjoyable. So I hope that happens in a minute. Are you looking to break their hearts with a gritty up and down? Well, actually, you hope that one of them makes a birdie and we come out of it all square. But I would still like to sneak the match, as you do. I've, I've always been competitive, Jess. I think I've gathered that, Paul. <laughs> So you've got a, a, a beaming smile on your face, Paul, why is that? Well, as you've noticed, Jez, uh, the old boy has, has managed to pop it on the green from 262 into off the right. A nice little run-in three wood uh, up the right-hand side. So it kind of puts me in a little bit of a better position than I was back there. So having said you couldn't get up in three, you, you have? Okay, there's still life in the old boy yet. So, Craig, how delighted were you to come up there and see your dad's ball on the green? Um, oh, just... Delighted. Um, yeah, it was a good shot, to be fair. But after all that, I, I think uh, there's, there's <coughs> some talk that it's not his ball. That's, that's more like it. That's better. That's what he deserved. It wasn't a very good shot at all. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we've got a wee chance, Jez. We're not dead yet. Inside, I'm actually thinking something different. <laughs> oh, well done! Very nice. Well done. After all that, there's uh, still going to be some talking in the car on the way home. Well, a, a little bit, yeah. Uh, obviously, we finished all square. Uh, I didn't. None of us played very well. It's quite windy. It's obviously quite difficult. But I was a couple under when we got a square game. So when you're playing against the two of them, it's it's quite hard. So overall, you know, Archer Fields, Feedra Links, a good match play course? Yeah, we're all looking forward to it. We're very excited. I think it's a great venue for us. As you can see by the video, there's a few holes that we can shorten to make it a lot more exciting and a lot more birdies, we hope, uh, for the spectators to see. Uh, the staff here and, and, and everyone at the club are looking after us wonderfully well and we're very excited to be playing here. And in terms of uh, people wanting to come along and watch, what's the best way of going, going about getting tickets? That you can go Paul Laurie Match Play uh, website, you can go European Tour uh, website, it's, it's only £15 pounds, um, per day to come in and, and see 64 of Europe's best golfers. Uh, you can also, uh, under 18s are free the whole week uh, to come and watch, so it's as inexpensive as we can make it to be honest and we'd like to see as many people as possible. And uh, Michael, just final thought from you, seeing that little uh, five, six footer go in there, quite gratifying. Yeah, it's always good to, to get that final half in the last hole. So keep your dad a bit quieter on the way yeah. home. <laughs> Good Which luck can't with be that. a bad thing. Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs>